William Dartmouth, who is a UCOP MEP for the Southwest, revealed what he wished the British government knew about trade agreements. In what was described as a well-kept secret, Mr. Dartmouth told a session of the EU Parliament that Britain did not need a trade agreement in order to thrive in global trade. And in an explosive session he revealed the UK once had a flourishing trade deal with Australia and New Zealand, which they tore up to appease the EU. IG Jedder Mouth told a session of the EU Parliament that Britain did not need a trade agreement to Tiverton wants to push Brexit talks into the trade phase next month we've tore up the trade agreements and turned our back on them when we joined the European Union William Dartmouth the MEP noted that the UK previously had a booming trade agreement with Australia and New Zealand he said we tore up the trade agreements and turned our back on them when we joined the European Union in 1975 it had a direct consequence in Britain, where the UK consumer had to pay EU prices instead of world prices, and those prices are much, much higher. Jedith MEP noted that the UK previously had a booming trade agreement with Australia, and New Zealand comments on the streamed video included a well-kept secret that the press will never allow the public to hear. This will never be on mainstream television or published in the mainstream press. Another user remarked most trade done in the world is done outside of trade deals. Igdert Mouth revealed what he wished the British government knew about trade agreements Mr. Dartmouth told the parliamentary session that Australia had a booming trade relationship with European countries without an in-depth trade deal. Speaking at the Committee on International Trade, the MEP said Australia has no trade agreement with the EU. Nonetheless, the UK is the largest market for wine produced in Australia. This is fully competitive with wine produced in Germany, France, and Spain. All of this was possible without a trade agreement. You don't need a trade agreement in order to trade. I wish the UK government understood that.